Google did one of their silly things again, where instead of just changing the name of their software, they changed the name, but they changed all the SKUs, all of the product lines as well. And so over the course of nearly two years, everyone had to opt in from G Suite over to Google Workspace. So Moni has asked, why can't I have unlimited storage to changing admin email address? It changed to 15 terabytes from unlimited. That's interesting. I'm going to assume that what has happened here is you've had a plan change of some sort, or perhaps you were on a legacy storage plan and Google have now switched you over to one of their limited plans. Previously, Google had a unlimited plan when it was called G Suite, and now everyone has been migrated over, or I think everyone has been migrated over to Google Workspace plans. Google did one of their silly things again, where instead of just changing the name of their software, they changed the name, but they changed all the SKUs, all of the product lines as well. And so over the course of nearly two years, everyone had to opt in from G Suite over to Google Workspace. And of course, we were doing this during COVID, so it made everything more challenging as well. But the interesting thing there is that Google actually changed some of their features and basically they dropped off that unlimited feature and started limiting accounts to, I think it's, you get a couple of terabytes per person if you're on the business standard plan. Now, the challenge for some users is that Google then removed for old accounts, the ability to buy storage individually. And so where previously you could purchase a block of storage, you know, hundred gigabytes or a terabyte or five terabytes, you could unfortunately no longer purchase that anymore. And I recorded a video on that on the channel called Why Did Google Break G Suite Storage? And unfortunately, that's what they decided to do, which was one of their little nudges to help people to upgrade to Google Workspace, which coincidentally also had a pricing change as well. That's Google for you. Now, understandably, yeah, sure, they're running a business. It's a great product and they need to put up prices from time to time. It was a little bit clunky on how they did it. But what I'm assuming for this person who's asked the question is that somewhere along the lines, if you've changed from one plan to a different plan within Google Workspace and your total storage for the account has changed, or you've changed from G Suite to a Google Workspace account, and that's why you're no longer seeing unlimited storage, which was on the previous plan. And now on your Google Workspace plan, you've got limited storage based on the number of users that you have set up on your account. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.